Mm. Good. Oh, fuck. That was the worst fucking one. Really? That was the worst fucking one. Oh, fuck. Woof. Say goodbye, Joseph. No, ten, ten, five years of pain. Five years of pain. Just gone. Nasal cavity. A allergies. <laughs> gone. Uh, what is your symptoms? Why'd you come down here? Um, I have bad neck pain that has shot down to my shoulders. Um, may give me headaches in the front of my my head. And, um, he's telling me it might have to do with also why I have ear problems and um, blockage in my ear on the right side <laughs> and then middle of the back. And I'm starting to notice that my toe might even be going numb on the left, left side. side. So. Okay. And you've been suffering for four years, you said, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So why four years later do you finally come in today? I'm curious, what drives you to come in today? Because I'm more in tune with my body and I'm tired of feeling like this. Yeah, what made you more in tune recently? Um, I stopped smoking weed. Good, and so you stopped uh, medicating yourself and right. you started allowing your brain to feel again. Yes. What has this pain made you become? Well, the pain, it's kind of like when you see people in pain and they get a little more grumpy. The pain, the pain doesn't allow me to feel like my true self. So, last thing. Uh, father died four years ago. Mm -hmm. We put this as part of his issue too. Tell us how that affects you. Um, again, it goes back to the self-medicating thing. Um, I didn't realize like, like I would cry about like it talking. Even now, I'll get like a little teary-eyed mentioning it. And it's like you have like a pain or sadness in you that you don't know how to that you don't know really is there my mom no one's talking to me no one's no one's helping me so you get to a point where you you medicate yourself differently like smoking more so this way push down that one no so okay. down isn't the way oh that one yeah oh okay so this one <sighs> Or this Ooh, one, which one's worse? That, 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 That's the one. Yeah. Same or different from side to side? Same or different? That's weird. It feels sharper on the left side. <laughs> okay, so uh, come forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. I walk back until your butt touches. Yeah. Joseph has 21 millimeter right imbalance and 24 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a left lower leg and massive constipation. Here we have an extreme neck reversal and an invert atlas. That thing is upside down. Here we have a forward body lean, poor posture because of antalgia and confirmation of that constipation. Okay. So the angle is right here, the uh, attachment. I attach right to your atlas right there. Take the slack out here. Can we have this? Good. Good. What's the difference? Um, it's way more at the base of the skull. Way more, right? You can yeah. feel it right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right here. I just get right in that spot. Good. The left side is always e easier and less painful. Yeah. <clears throat> so how did uh, your first Alice adjustment go? Chill. Great. Chill? How was it different than the other adjustments? The results, not the adjustment. How is the results different? Headway less. Yeah, let's go. Mm. Yeah. Woo! That guy was deep, huh? I think the flat footed thing is why I've had a bad spine since a child. I believe that. Because yeah. that doesn't happen easily. Yeah, like severe flat feet since a child? Nah. Again, you've been off balance. And so that's why you have such a high pain tolerance, and that's why you don't think your problems are as bad as they are i.e. the constipation, the internal is issues, the way you diet, oh, the way you obsess about food. Those are things because of long-term psychological issues with pain. Yeah, I was constipated as a child for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good walk. Okay, stop right there. How does the uh, walk feel different? I'm kind of curious. Does it feel different? Uh, my head doesn't weigh as much. Oh, good. That's a good sign. It doesn't feel like um, I f my head feels lighter. Like it doesn't feel like it's it's a strain on my neck right now to hold my head up. Okay. 
good. Wow. He's as gummy as you are. I'm very flexible. Yeah. Especially when I'm not in pain. Good, nice. I didn't even feel that. I felt the, that's the one like down here, but this one like was just buttered. It's ready to get clavicle here. But the other side I felt really This deep. is pretty painful, so just relax. Just relax. There we go. Stay right there. There we go. Yeah, that one, I felt that in the back of the yeah, yeah, neck. Yeah. So we did the lower neck. What I'm trying to do is loosen up the lower part of your neck so your body's more on a swivel now, mm -hmm. so the head can connect to the body better, the shoulders. Yeah. And then we adjusted the clavicles to allow your body to do this. Yeah. Like I told you, I feel like I'm being pulled in. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, wow. Definitely less uh, tender than yesterday, huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's talk about uh, how you did uh, sitting on your phone, those kind of notes you just took because it's interesting how you're starting to have a breakthrough and you're starting to feel like this is making sense now. Subconsciously. And that's the best thing about it. Like, it's, it's, like I said, I walked in the position without thinking about it. I, I sit on the phone because I've been, you know, just been committing the mental energy to do it. So now it's like innate. I mean, you know, it's in the waiting room. I just did it innately because I'm making mental energy. Like I said, I don't want to waste my money. So I'm definitely trying to practice what you preach kind yeah. of thing going on. Yeah. And like I said, my um, my back feel, I feel the the spines resting now on top of each other. So like when I get in the position where I'm on my phone, not straining my neck or anything like that, nothing's burning. It only burns after the adjustment and then like you're just calibrating, calibrating. And now seeing the car, I'm not having pain. Seeing on the phone, I'm not having pain. So... I'm just not having pain really yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. Whew. It just gets worse and worse every time. That should not be painful like that anymore. Because the eustachian tube is not backed up, but there's still something. No, it's not that. You know, not you're irritating you're, this. Yeah, something's irritating in this side. It's yeah. still. Yeah, but that man, that that it moves really well. So for you to have that kind of pain, that means you're inflaming it somehow. Okay, let's do this clavicle here real quick. My arm is fine. Yep. Yeah. See, a little crack. Mm. Excellent. Yeah, that was good. Uh, free crack. Stop. Stop. Freak, right? Jesus Christ. It's a new drug on the Can you believe she just said that? It's a new drug in on this market. room with this audience? <laughs> yeah. a new drug on the market called pre crack. Pre crack. I don't think this one's so much harder. Here we go. Here we're just showing you guys watching Joseph and his girl walk around the building. I call it my health highway. This is where we recalibrate and we do all our hard work. Check it out. What these two weeks have been, what do you think it was going to be like, where and where we went, and just give us some kind of wrap up of what you think. Um, everything's, um, I'm not in pain like I used to be at all, like, so I have to really notice now and pay attention to my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the little stuff counts. Um, Really good knowledge on lifting and different things like that. Posture, you know, my legs are messed up, but you know, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you think it was going to be like this or do you think, did you have a different uh, idea of what the whole program would be or? No, I, I, I knew that, I knew that you're doing things differently. So that's why you are what you're doing. So you are who you are. Mm -hmm. So I knew that there was going to be a more ideology shift. And you know, so, so it, it's definitely though, more so it's, it's um, I like information. So the new information on games, like, oh, you've been doing this wrong your whole life kind of aspect of things. I like that a lot. Cool, 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 cool. And so uh, let's take it a percentage-wise. How much better are you here now than when you started? These are percentage uh, First day was 100%. Like, first day, I would say, like, if, if I was at 10, 12, it went down to, like, a 1, 2. Gotcha. For, from the first day. And so now it's more so just trying to embody the knowledge to not reverse the, what I've just 
fixed. Like drinking too much? Yeah. So, yeah, like drinking too much. So. Yeah. <laughs> any advice for those people out there that are going to come in and potentially do one of these two-week programs? Uh, any advice for them? I recommend it. Um, you don't really know how messed up you are. Um, um, you don't really, I didn't, because chiropractor is not mainstream. Like my mom works as a nurse and I offered her to come here and she's like, nah. So, and, and then he goes, I'll pay for your mom to come. She's like, nah. And then the fact like, the think that your the ideology that doctors don't Im if doctors and chiropractors and holistic people all work together we'd be all healthier as a society because if your doctor would tell you your feet are your feet are messed up and you can see the podiatrist or you can or, or, you, or you can see a chiropractor to mess up fix your feet as a kid like your the your parents are looking your parents are looking to doctors to tell them what to do mm -hmm. with their kid so if they think you need surgery or need prosthetics then that's what you're going to go with like a guy who got his knees replaced, but he's a chiropractor. And Dr. Thera's like, you just saw me, you <laughs> had to get your knees replaced. And that's mind blowing. Like, I, your, your body works so much harder because your spine is off. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly said because when your balance is off, it's exponentially more pressure on your joints than if you are not balanced. And even slight tweaks. And then the fact that you're not, no one's training, like posture should be a class in school as a child. Like as little kids should take 30, teachers need to be trained by chiropractors or a doctor there per se, and trained by chiropractors. Wouldn't be a bad thing actually. To, in, to instill correct posture because even Catholic schools, they won't, it won't go because they tell you to stand up straight. You go to the military, they tell you like this. And this is the ideology of your, as a society, we're supposed to walk straight, chest out, chin up. And in, in actuality, you're supposed to, tuck it in, relax, because like he says, the coat hanger thing going on. Yeah, the coat hanger is the whole idea is you're hanging your body weight on your skeleton. Use the skeleton what it's, what it's designed for. And so we don't. We alter that by trying to look like a certain ideology that is not manifest, that can't be maintained. And then the idea that you're, because I lift weights a lot, I used to especially lift weights a lot, the idea that you're spending energy by trying to hold yourself up, even on a micro level. So just to think like as an athlete or somebody who trains like who who special or even power lifters or people people where they're walking like this all the time, but they're spending energy and they probably have a little more oomph on their lifts or get more gains if they're are they are they really resting on rest days kind of thing going on? Yeah, that's true too. Are they really resting on rest days? And so again, fatigue, tired, sleeping better, your body's more healthy, mm -hmm. and so you're able to do more power. You're able to do more if you have this time when you rest. Yeah. So. And then you exert. And then you rest. Yeah, that's why the Asian culture kind of got it right with that. You know how they like just like relax and do because they and then when action <laughs> when action goes around, then they you know they get to action. You they know? get to action. Yeah. So and Doctor Thera is that a, as, as an Asian thing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, man, they they're the main the, Doctor Thera and my <clears throat> acupuncture acupuncturist are the only people who say it's stress. You're, but he's saying it's stress, but he's saying you're stressing your body out and your spine is causing more stress and it's just a negative feedback. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has the more signs behind it. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm smarter than acupuncturist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, anything else you want to share, sir? Um, yeah. Good. Uh, I think check this was, guy out. Yeah, appreciate it. And so uh, we'll see him again. I just wanted to get the end of two weeks and where he's at mentally after two Do weeks. Do not come here if you cannot take a joke. This is not for the faint of heart. Because in order to relax, you have to be able to laugh. And me and my girl were talking about that, is that his ideology, he doesn't probably does, doesn't know this, but it's a, it's a subconscious thing. He's a jokester. And if you can't take a joke, you can't laugh. That means you're hey, stiff hey, hey. emotionally. Yeah. So, I am a kind of a jokester. Even though I come off really hardcore, I'm, uh, I joke around a lot. He's funny as hell. Yeah, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Mm. Good. Oh, fuck. That was the worst fucking one. Really? That was the worst fucking one. Oh, fuck. Woof. Hmm. That was loud as shit. <laughs> yeah, that was loud. That didn't even hurt. That right, that, that right side is, is just something else, man. Yeah. It's not, and before it was more outside, inside. Now this, it's like you're breaking up the scar tissue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's deeper. There's deeper. something definitely in there. Yeah. There's something in there. That right side is like fucking up. Yep. My you stationary too just keeps loosening up every adjustment. And how's the breathing been the whole time, by the way? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Don't take allergy medicine. Just get your neck cracked. I've had that for four or five years. Yeah.
Yeah, definitely more flexible. Mm, yeah, but my heels were definitely lifting up. So, been wonderful, man. We'll get some more videos on him, but that was two weeks. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Joseph. No, ten, ten, five years of pain. Five years of pain. Just gone. Nasal cavity. A allergies. <laughs> gone. Good. Nice. That was the first time the right side felt like the left. Yeah, 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 right? It didn't feel like it was any pain. No, and that's, 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 that was crazy. So really, it's just this upper part is just wrecked. Mm. Good. Yeah, it's loud.